Alright, welcome to Smack Zack's Red Dead Adventure. This is going to be a long running series because I'm not just going to be doing the stories, we're just going to have fun playing this game because this is one of my favorite games. So, we're going to take our time. It's not going to be anything speedruns like uh, Star Wars Fallen Order was. It'll be fun. Frame rate. By 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. I love the style of this game so much. It just throws you into the immersive world. America was becoming a land of laws. Don't know why I said that one. Even the West had mostly been tamed. The West, the Wild West, is no longer. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Like that they underlined destroyed too. To further solidify their point. Rockstar Games presents. I'm excited. Red Dead Redemption 2. At ultra high settings. Average. I did a uh, test on this, and my average is 60 frames per second, so we should not have any issues. It just should be a pure beauty. Ooh, it's chilly. It's a chilly world out there, guys. We're gonna bundle up, stay warm. Don't fall off of the back of carriages. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Just let Davy rest while he... You know... Dies. Old man in town. Bandit. It ain't far. Come on. Come on. Can I mention that the guy jumped out of the back of the carriage, walked around to the side to talk to Dutch, and then jumped back into the back of the carriage? Like, wouldn't it have been easier just to slide forward and talk to him through the back? If that makes sense. Just through the front, I mean. Like, where they're sitting. Because that's open, so it's not like he had to get out. Theatrix. Boom. Jump scare. Gotcha, guys. Bring him in here. That's a modified beard. Modified. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. Sounds like y'all got a good plan. Nothing yeah. more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. That looks so Listen. real. Their clothes look so Listen real. All you for a moment. Now we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. 
but we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Let's go. Come on, Arthur. Fun. Okay. Oh. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So he's a good leader. They both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. If I get my own horse in this get game, indoors, son. then uh, I'm going to name it Mayo. We need you strong. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. So I was gonna say that there's um, a fun fact for you. Dutch Vanderlyn is actually a real criminal from the Wild Western days. Um, Probably during this time period that this game's based in. You should look it up, it's pretty interesting. So this might not be historically accurate, but the character, at least some of the characters, are real. Which is cool. last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's telling us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. So, do you think it was a trap? In Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. But there was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Up the path? What is it? It's a cutscene. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. I already don't like him. Okay. A... Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it, nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. This looks so pretty and real. Look at the snow physics. There's nothing in front of him. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Hey, Arthur, 
Let me take the rear. You move up. Hold. You run into anybody else? There we go. I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but it's shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. I don't like him still. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Gotta be getting close, right? I wanna get mayo. Unless this is my horse, in which case I'm gonna name this horse mayo. I don't know. When I get a horse, I think this one is just like one of the gangs and they just gave it to me to get over here. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie. Horse is not stopping. <laughs> it's like we're gonna die. Okay. It's a house. What now, Arthur? Okay. Let's head down there. Oh. You should have turned off the lanterns, but your lantern's still on. Just saying. Let's hitch up here. Oh, there. Sounds like a party. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. All right, Dutch, I'm following you. I'm going to pat your head. So if you guys don't remember the party. from the... You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Um, in Red Dead Redemption 1, Dutch and the gang are is exactly who you're hunting down as as you're playing as um, John. So, kind of interesting new approach to play as somebody that's not the main character of the first game. This is a prequel. Hello! Shh. <laughs> Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. That's a dead body. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur. need... Some There's a body food in the wagon. Uh, I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Headshot. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. 
Come here! It's goddamn Dutch Vanderlyn, you morons! Cole is gonna shit his pants! Yeah! Look out! There's more to be! Headshot. All the headshots. Headshot. Window. Oh. That's a mess. Damn it, I missed again. Twice. I'm usually better at headshots, man. I'm playing with a controller, not with the mouse and keyboard, because this game auto aims. That guy's making a run for it? Oh, so he is. He's dead. Look at that. That is what we call skill. Thank you, Dutch. Alright, search the cabin. Wow, this game still looks absolutely stunning. Looks so much better on PC than what I've seen on, or while well, I played on the PlayStation 2, but it just looks better. Whiskey is essential. You got your priorities straight. Health care. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. One Colm dead. Heck, <laughs> yeah. The thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your st Thanks up for the ride back. So... Have different effects on health core. Yeah, I know that. Same thing with the uh, first game. Place is dry, and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. It's apparently oh, blood right there. Blood Man, this game is here. dark. I saw. Probably the poor. Oh, yeah, that's better. Mike found a dead body in the wagon outside. Because if I can barely see it, that means you guys can barely see it. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. So this is better. Now, if I did want a more realistic experience, but that's okay. This is better. Now you can see everything. We're going back down there. Hold on. Coin purse, too. It's a good thing I went in there. Alright, I think that's it. Hmm. Poor bastard was married, too. Jake and Sadie wedding. Wait, can I just pick that up and take it? Can I just take that photograph for my own reasons? Because... No, I can't. Alright. I was hoping that I could sell it. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Oh yeah, this looks a lot better now. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we need. Now you can see everything. So pretty. Look at the snow! Hold on. I got the perfect idea here. A circle. Circle. This way. Ha! Penis. Okay. Sorry. Someone's about to go down. Is that- is that Mayo? I got jumped! You bastard shot my cut! Well, he's starving! I'm gonna break your neck! You're not. What's going on? Now this guy just jumped me! Oh, oh, did he now? Stinky 
That wasn't much of a fight. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. So where are they? What they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? With the others. That wasn't helpful. Old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're I only punched him once. Some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. All right, Dutch. I don't know anything else. Get the hell there you go. Go. Have fun. Get this horse, huh? Where's my gun? And my hat. If I'm gonna calm you, that means that you're gonna be mine. And it looks like Mayo is gonna be your name. And it looks like mayonnaise. This is the comedy police. The joke is too funny. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. I will. His name is Mayo. That doesn't sound very good. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, look, I found in the cellar. Wild thing, ain't ya? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them O'Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you Dude, Mike is insane. Miss, now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Nice job, Micah. Freaking idiot. You okay, man? They came three days ago. And both of us, they. they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. Come with us. Of course. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. He, he was my husband. Oh, that, that guy. I think I didn't have to ride all the way back. Red Dead Redemption hey, 2. Somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting a train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is, but we found some supplies, some blankets, That's a little bit of food. That's what it is. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's going to be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. 
Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Catch yourself. That's why. Because they're an asshole. Just staying in the obvious. Daya's like, no, my robots. Enter pursued by a memory. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... This little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. He looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. Why? For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. And I believe this is the John that we know and love. The John that went through hell and back for his family. The John that was stabbed in the back. Fresh. Seems somebody left. Recently. Recently. Ha! Called it. <laughs> that way. Sure. Well, come on there. If the campfire is still smoking, it's the clear that left recently. Some tracks leading to the river. Especially in this weather. Let's cross. All right. Continue up that way. Whoa, nice jump, Mayo. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there out here. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Damn Pinkerton's. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, bro. Continue along. Whoa. That's cool. How much of this is mountain? How much of this is glacier? Jack and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, this game is beautiful. Cinematic camera. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. I still have to hold X. I didn't realize I still had a hold down button in cinematic mode. I can change the camera. What? I'm filming a movie. 
I'm the film director now. Going up a cannon. Got to show at this angle. Careful, it's getting narrow here. Yeah. Beautiful views. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah. A lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. That's so cool. We can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. We're almost at the top of this mountain. See what? Oh, a corpse? That corpse? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's no. see if he can hear us. Brutal. Let's go with the horses. Up there. Don't think it's wise to take the horses up here, but uh, holy cow, this is amazing. From up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We have to walk from here. Uh, I grab that shotgun from your horse. Um, who knows what's up ahead? Okay, I grab the shotgun from my horse. Let me just get back over to my horse. Now one sawed off shotgun. I'm working on it, jeez. So tell me what to do. Blow your head off. Kaboom! Dead. Red. Dead. Get it? Because, yeah. I don't even need to explain that joke. It's just that good. You sure about this? This seems dangerous. Don't slide. Do not slide. I'm sliding. I'm not sliding. Okay. Panicking. You're telling me. If I slide my uh, gun through the snow, does it make a rim rim? No. Well, it kind of does. Subtle. Drops down here. Watch yourself. And I just fall to my. Ooh, I almost did. It's a good thing I know how to crouch. Okay. Good now. Watch your stamina. My stamina is low. Stay close. Well, I got a solution for that. Or I don't. I don't have a solution for that. There we go. Up here. Come on. Gap here. Canned seaweed. I think that's what I just ate. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! Can I let me climb? Oh, yeah, square. I just forgot what well, the controls they just told me to use this. There we go. Parkour! Ungracefully. Come on, Arthur, hurry up and get into that cave so it can be slightly warmer. There we go. Let's keep moving then. Come on. To the left. We're coming down here. I thought I took a shortcut, but this guy's still right ahead of me. Over here. Maybe I didn't take a shortcut. Now he's ahead of me. Way far. Away. He's down here. What are we looking at? Oh. That's quite a scratch you got there. That's how we got the scratch. Good to see you, Arthur Morgan. From a wolf, I assume. Or a lion. Or a bear. You or a tiger. So I don't feel too good, neither. Or. Freezing. 
some other configuration of being. Maybe a griffin attacked him. Mythical creatures that nobody's ever seen before, but they exist. Is that a whistle or somebody? Oh, it's whistling. can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Sure you did. You all right? I have to walk all the way back to the horses. Hopefully, this will lead us out. Carrying him. That canyon. See, I told you, wolves. You see that on the ridge? It's kind of hard to miss when it starts howling at you. Shit. You head for the horses. I'll get John's friends off until you clear. All right. John's friends. Yep. Let's get you on that horse. All right. I'm undefeated. Headshot. Hold on. Okay, let's get going for any more of these bastards. Sprout on my arm. Jeez. Which one's mine? Is that my horse? I don't know which horse is mine. I'll let you do it. Oh, I should skin these real quick. Or not. Okay, I can't skin them. That's a waste. Come on, then. Skip. Switching over to my pistol. That's fair. No, just be honest. Just not yet. We're all gonna die at some point. Right? Up there. All of us are... Damn it, ruined in the moment. Headshot. Look out on the right! We got more wolves on the left! Stay back! Please head on the right! Make up your mind! Right in the heart. You see any more out there? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with He's us, up. Marston? He's up there somewhere. About. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Hold up. What's this over here? Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of I don't know what that is. And Arthur always says I'm lucky. Don't well, you're not dead. Survived all of that, so clearly you are lucky, right? Just saying. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose the scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. A griffin. Go freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death. Ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah. Push hard and get back. No, I don't think that's a good enough story. There's buildings up ahead, John. That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Everybody's dead. I might be right. Everybody might have died. We get some help. Oh, we there we go. Come on, help him down. You're alive. Sheesh. You're alive. Oh, here we go. There we go. Ay, oh. careful. Oh. Idiotas, it's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you Idiotas. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. 
Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. No. Oh, the west is where our problems are the worst. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> is it worse than that civilization, though? Is it? We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. That's how it works in Colorado, though. You don't really get spring, you get more snow. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. Safe here. Oat cakes. Warm enough. I'll eat those. Are those oat cakes? Yeah, whatever. I'll eat the kidney beans then. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say, but I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, hey. we get some more money. You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Alright, just crash into that door. Go two missions now. Two missions to accomplish. Let's see. Mr. Pearson, Bill Williamson. Let's go see what this one is. Starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. What are you doing, Vector? We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea. Gonna hear it at once. 50 one. days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> Unfortunately, we ran away from the I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're a fetish. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait You're the second. baddest. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Going hunting now. That's the kind of stuff I'm here for. Hunting and hunting. Here, you take this. I can't use it and you'll have to. Oh, uh, you're joking. Use a gun and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. With a bow. Too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. This way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? What happened? We'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, 
Cool. I got a bow. Sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. I have the high ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. I ride north from Blackwater. Getting stuck in the storm. Bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. What is hey Vector? Like to think back on. Go Doc. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Or no. Defy me. Well, Defy me. This show weren't good. Cutscene. We're traveling across the mountains into the snowy winterland to find some food. Probably some deer. This is the part of the game where I get to learn how to go hunting. Which is probably something I'm going to do a lot of. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to have fun playing this game though, that's for sure. Faux show. Sure. Well, we're done with that. I was just trying to stretch, but okay, we're done. Some deer. Let's look down this way. Maybe some bunnies. Well, rabbit isn't really that good of a meal, but deer. Maybe. The wind's died. Hold on, I'm gonna see something real quick. I wanna see if I can change the settings to make this more of a survival game. Nope, I can't change the settings apparently. Head down too. This isn't her story. Nope. Get what we get. That's good. No wind at all is bad. We'll just make it our own. They won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Just tell me what to do. Who do you think you are? Shoot this arrow through the back of your head. You're not even looking. Hey, stop here a second. But again. Keep telling me what to do. There are tracks. But which way do they go? Left or right? There's deer been here. And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Fair I'm enough. Walking from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. I thought I already had it. Guess I didn't. Now I got it. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. Stay low and run. Got it. Not this way. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. I see them. Game will also show me the tracks apparently. That's useful. Makes it a little less fun. No, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track the mute. Where'd it go? Oh. Well in grass and wood. It's like the subtle line that you can see. It's kind of cool. Subtle enough to... Oh, there it is. Shh. Down there. You see him? Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Oh, gosh. On the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Ah, did not mean to do that. That's okay. Try again. Ah! Oh, my stamina. You know what I need? Uh, just get some of that. Alright, that should help. Suddenly, like, I was fine aiming, and then I was just about to let go, and then just my stamina dropped, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, we'll get that fixed though. Sure enough. 
This is my first time in hunting, guys. Don't judge me too harshly. There you are. Across the water. Oh, there's more than one of them. Can I hit her from here? Apparently. Can't that one. Man, my stamina. I don't want to eat this sort of salt at awful. It's disgusting. Ew. Salted awful. Why are you running so much, Arthur? Calm down. Where, oh where? Aha. Got it. Got him. Well done. That was a faster one too. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. Which one are you gonna get? You sure your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, cool. I didn't die. I cannot call for my horse. I don't know what I just ate. Classic oats, apparently. It wasn't letting me until that moment, but I could have called it earlier and I'd be had it on its way. But no. Oh, that was a clean shot right through the neck. Beautiful. Come on, Mayo. There you go again. Naying away. Alright, stow the deer. Alright. I went well, I think. Ready to head back when you are. So you gotta be quick when you're hunting with the bow because once you're holding that draw have that drawn, your stamina just plummets. Which makes sense. I mean, the longer you hold a bow, it's kinda straining on your arms. Are you following me or am I following you? Oh, look what you did. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Easy. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People Soon. are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. More thaw. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. This game is so beautiful. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We get the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. Theatrics. <laughs> we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. Careful. I guess because they've been over this They're way. They're threatening me? Careful. Uh, I've Don't want to get too close. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Wow. 
Watch out. Bear up ahead. Ooh. Let's see if we can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. You've got enough here. No need to push our luck. You sure? He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Yeah, but they are. Look out! What are you yelling at me about? Well, look at the snow. That's beautiful. Snow physics. All games need them. Reddit does it so well. This game. Cut up here. Off the trail. This game. No words, just utter beauty. Complete and utter beauty. Cannot be defined by the game. Actually, I can. Looks so real. been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that? But you didn't expect this? What? Any of this? Blackwater mess? Being up here? Ah, uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. And I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you can run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. You taught me to read. John, too. You taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. He was the first. Sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. So, he always sees us right. I think my theory is that Arthur was adopted by Dutch and Hosea, and that was before they became a game gang. I appreciate you letting me take time the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but... Almost there. He loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the cow once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Increase to level five. Yeah. Leveling up our horsey. Horsey, horsey, horsey. We got two deer. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Okay, I'm gonna hitch ma mayo over here. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop oh, What a surprise! Just drop- Oh yeah, I already am. Rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Oh, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. <laughs> you earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. 
You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. <laughs> no, isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Stop, stop, stop. Wow. Skinning is so easy. Watch this. Slide it right under. Wow. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. It's barely attached. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. After all, I got blood years. all over my shoulder. Oh, no, no. Run, run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> All right, let's go. Oh, there's another mission. Shall we do it? I suppose we shall. Help with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the land. Oh, you. You lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess. I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. Fair enough. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You. You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. Yeah. And this is about more Mirror, Peter. than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators. Here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Yeah! Giddy up! Mayo, I keep forgetting my horse's name. I literally named it for that one joke, and that was it. And now I just can't remember. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this poor their planet. Cutscene. Yeah. I'm not gonna have to ride all the way over yonder, I don't think. I hope. Nope. Oh, that was it. That was the end of that cutscene. Just short. What's that? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. <gasps> we have tracks tell, too. The only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. When we just shoot up an Good entire bitch. village of people. Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. 
what he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. There's smoke over the ridge. Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Look at that, I'm already a hunter. I'm already ready. It's kind of weird, cool playing a game with snow in it, because like... It's snowy outside, because it was snowing all day yesterday. How's it snowing? That's bad. Alright, gentlemen. Oh, my bad. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Yeah, we are goddamn ready. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Hold on. Hold on, Dutch. My gun. Hey. I need my gun. Okay, I guess I don't get my gun. Just gonna go jump off this cliff. Can I just push Dutch? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, nope. Definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Something going on. I think I'm supposed to watch them and what they're doing. So if I let go, it goes right back to him. He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. I got my gun now. Yeah. Let's get on now. Get to grab that rifle from your horse. Yeah, that's why I wanted to grab it the first place, but you wouldn't let me. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got a Dutch. We're going. Good. Come on. Go. All right, Dutch. I'm following you, buddy. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Yeah. Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Walk it too slow. Including Cole. Can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Just pushing him. See if I can push him off the edge. Just go. Just shove him. Whew. Nope. That's a long fall, though. I don't think he'd make it. I have to walk all the way down here. Ah, the snow is thicker. I like that there's a variety of thickness within the snow, depending on where you are. Like this part right here on the ridge, because it's flatter, so it'd have more snow on it. It's so cool. Detail. The snow is falling and it's super pretty as well. I'm completely forgetting that there's something else going on. Like, you know, I've been worried about a go getting into a gunfight. 
You need to worry about that. Don't fall. I fell. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. Son of a beach. Stay low. Come on, follow me. I am. Slowly. Oh look, I got a knife on me too. this if you want just make the call you want to take the lead go we don't have time to debate this what the hell are you doing what the hell am i doing all right boys kill these you said we don't have time to debate i'm shooting people Headshots all over. That guy's face, by the way, was just completely pulverized. Headshot. Oh, shot his hat off. Oh, that's even more skill. Can't see. Just shoot him in the balls. That works. I'm pretty sure that kills somebody, too. Son of a gun. Not sure how that hat if that even works. Pretty sure that's a myth that was busted long ago. Alright. Getting closer. Did I get got? Yeah, nice try. I'm unbeatable. Everything we can from them. All right. Always. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Paul doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. Oh, there's two people over here. Oh shit! Look out! Four of the bastards coming out of the tree. Hey man, I'm still looting bodies here. My priority is getting stuff. Okay, now you're shooting at me. Oh yeah, I heard that the first time. Right there, take some cover. Let's see. Where? On the half of the old Driscolls, suck my cat. <laughs> That's funny. What am I supposed to do? Very confused. I technically just, I still. Ah! Let me get on my horse. Oh, I can't. Not yet. Arthur, get over 
here. Stop telling me what to do, bitch. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, uh -huh. quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. That's some dynamite. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. I wonder what dynamite smells like. Did we get everything? I think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of Leviticus here. Cornwall. All of you boys, all of you, not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They Speaking of starving, for us, hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. Got some biscuits. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get caught, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. It's gonna rob a train. He'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. So do we get a fast shot? I didn't get to loot all those bodies that's bothering me. Fellas, let's make some ground! Foggy. I wonder if we get to come back to this region. I like this region. Snowy. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Come on, horsey. Mayo. I know you're nan. We're gonna be just fine. Pick him up. Game. Like, thank you. And it's nighttime all of a sudden. Well, that got dark quick. Oh God, no. Comfortable enough for you? What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? <laughs> it's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! He is screaming. <laughs> you got this, horsey. We gotta get back soon. The storm that just got here. Because the sun's still up there. Unless that's the moon. In which case, that's super cool. Well, I hardly know him. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. Yeah, you little shit. Did I just see Bigfoot? Bigfoot is in the game. Just let me go. 
please? Not in this one. Oh, He's in the other one. Have a heart, mister. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. No one more goddamn word. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Um, guys, I got a present. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to He's make holding a map home? of Red Dead Redemption. Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson. That's cool. Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas is need shooting. Save fellas is need saving. And feed them is need feeding. We are going to find out. What you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go warm up and get some sleep. There we go. A few days later. I wish my handwriting was that good. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. John. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. <laughs> Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway. Is that a son? Bill! Now you ride ahead and set Johnson. the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Seems like Dutch is a bit uh... ready. We have a train to rob. I guess he's an antsy because he's tired of sitting around, but All right, we're out. I think it would be smarter just to lay low up in the mountains. Like nobody knows you're up there. There's no trail. I mean, now there is, but there's no trail leading up to this area. All right, we're gonna rob a train. Kindly provided to us by the original. 
train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. If we raise spot there, it should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. <laughs> Lenny, out there? Take the front cars, deal with any I'm moving up. Arthur, there we go. You head straight for the back. No, I'm That's in the front. We're after Mr. Cornwall's private car. <laughs> you and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Wait, what am I doing? I zoned out. Guys, help. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh uh get, get guys. I oh, okay. Um Hopefully I don't mess this up because I, I, I didn't hear my instructions. I heard everybody else's, but not mine. I was zoning out. Just in my own world. Thinking about butterflies and unicorns that poop butterflies and. No, they eat. I don't know. It's all bad. That's what I was thinking about. I still don't know what my instructions are. Sir. Sir. I. I. That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back. Let's send. We go back. And that's the end of it. Money safe. You'll just have to trust me. There is no money. And if the O'Driscolls are right, we can stack railroad bonds on this train. My guess is that there isn't any money up there. That's why we're robbing this train. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. My guess is also... Hold up here on the ridge. Most of that. I forgot what I was about to say. Is Bill there? I think Arthur would be able to go back because he wasn't there. See how he's getting on? He's not wanted because he, nobody saw him there. Right? So, technically, I should be able to go back and go get the stuff, right? If I wasn't at the scene of the crime, no one suspects me of being part of the gang. I'm not wanted because nobody saw my face. So, clearly. Is that an elk? Or was that the goat man? I'm unsure. I'm kind of scared now, though. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Oh, there's the detonator. Let's use our knife, cut that string, and then connect the wire. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. 
You head back up to the others. I got it from here. I don't think you do. You seem to be struggling over there. Stereotypically, we are sitting on a ridge waiting for the train. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. See, you have the same doubts I do. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here. Any minute now. Face covered. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. I don't. I still. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. Help. I'm confused. <laughs> Just yelling at each other. You're pathetic, you know that? Blaming somebody else for somebody else's problems. Yeah! Oh, dude, you almost died. Come on, Lenny. Guess not. I still have yet to get an option for. Okay, okay I just wait. There we go. So it begins. Hold on. Ow. There you go. I'm the one that got shot. my boss since I hooked up the wire? I don't know. Oh, snap! Reverse grapple. That's okay, I got him. Drop my hat. It's my gun. My stuff was just there in that cutscene. Or in that scene where I threw him over and now it's gone. Shameful. This is more fun anyways. I'm just blowing up the drain. Probably nothing in it. All these bastards must be guarding something. It's all just a trick. Now they're guarding something. Oh, show it. There you 
is. They're just dropping like flies over there. Don't see see you shot your hat off. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Except we killed. Four of you. <laughs> I give That's you fair. my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. My bullets are going into there. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. <laughs> you two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take Oh, that's the door. There. Replace the dynamite. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Well, only one of them needed to be lit, right? Technically. Cool guys, don't look at its explosions. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. One. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. Two. We just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Three. Search that train. Why you push me out of the way for? Stop pushing me! I will shoot you. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the Dear way. Mr. Cornell, kid did good. Didn't we are yet to receive payment of 2000 for the initial He's phase. Clean. I'll give you that. Our, all companies have one. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Got some brandy. Get in there. I'm gonna get yelled at a lot in a second. There. See? That's how it's done. Take the cigar, anything in the cabinet. Just a pile of papers. Oh. I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me the now look what I found. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah blah blah. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. Nice trick. <laughs> Premium cigar cigarettes. That'll help my dead eye. Inspect card. Card. What card? I told you he was going to yell at us. What did I say? He's probably going to yell at us. Nope. Alright, I think that was everything. That brandy. Get some brandy. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. 
Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. All right. Deal with the guards. Okay. Get on the train, quick. All of you. Any bright ideas? I kill all three. So behave. Get. Move. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car. You'll end up like all your friends out here. We won't tell a soul. I, I thought we had a deal. Get onto the... Oh my gosh. That guy's a freaking idiot. All I did was push him and then he went to... He's like, I thought we had a deal. Well, oh, they just ran. Freaking coward. I gotta run all the way up to the front of this train. Salmon's up. It's good, right? Alright, choo choo, motherfuckers. You all have fun. Riding on a train with no conductor. Wonder how that's gonna end. No one to stop it. Well, I guess there's two people to stop it. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> oh, music. Ooh, the theme song from the trailer. That's a good song. And out of the mountain range we go. Just like that. Mayo lead him I lead in the wagon. Has a nade in a while, but you know, Mayo will eventually name. I don't even like mayonnaise. Not like a bunch, it's, I'm like, oh mayonnaise, I gotta have it on I actually prefer not to have it on my uh, food most times. Gross. Wow. That tree looks so fake. I thought this game was supposed to be beautiful. Oh wow, that is actually really pretty. Physics. Micah, get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Buy me a whiskey. No, we get to ride the wagon, drive the wagon. This is what I love about Red Dead, is that like... I don't know, even the subtle things like just driving a wagon, it just immerses you into the world so much, and it just makes it so much fun to play. You know, most games would be like, let's skip this because nobody wants to drive a wagon. I prefer to drive a wagon. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Okay, let's take a look. 
You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on. Aren't you? you still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. <laughs> we'll say less. Pick the wheel up. I think I figured out why the wheel fell off. That's it? That's all you're doing? It's just slamming it in there? See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Oh no, there's a bolt that I tighten and stuff too. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Well, get in and I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. This is so beautiful. This looks so real. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <laughs> I love the aggression between, like, just the arguments so, that they have, just poking at each other. It's so much fun. Trap. I don't even know if I have one. It shows just friendship. I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Hey, it's a long story. That's it? Not gonna tell him? We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for faster. Now. Oh, I can. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me. You, Dutch, 
We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. No, nope, still can't. Okay, cool. Cutscene. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Just scoop it up in my hand, and where did I put it? It's me. Now we're going. We're almost there, though, I think. Me thinks. I hope. I keep getting, like, um, the tips up in the top left. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It just get, like, a little bit. So after we get there, this is going to be it for this episode, but expect more the fun is just beginning this is just us getting through the opening which is actually a really long opening all right just leave him okay let's go any trouble getting in here Javier nope went well this is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Alright, so the fun is just beginning. We're going to do whatever the heck we want in this game. Um, we're not playing this mostly, or we're not playing this just for the story. I'm pretty sure that if anybody really likes this game, then they're going to be already playing it. Because it is totally worth the money. Home sweet home. Um... Yeah, we're just playing up for the views, because it's beautiful, we get to see such an awesome world, and so we can have fun. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Micah's gonna screw us all over. I already know it. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly they now. built up a. How long did it take us to get over here? That things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And uh, we need food, real food. That means every day, one of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here, 
I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Oh, <laughs> uh, man, that's funny. All right, chapter one is done. Chapter two, we're going to spend most of our time in chapter two. Peshire Overlook. Hopefully I said that right. A couple of weeks later. Please don't put me into another thing. Just let me open play. Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Heartlands overlook. I'm a that doofus. A little better. I can't His read. eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. Spot of black water in that whole mess. Hi there. Oh boy. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Hard work. Strong work. I got a camera. Allows you to take pictures of your surroundings. <gasps> Guys! That's awesome. That was also a big old bear. Alright. Red Dead Redemption 2. Opening sequence. Done. It took forever. I actually may make it two parts. But... We got it done. Expect more episodes. If you are enjoying this and what I'm doing with this series, uh, why don't you smack that like button? Like somebody that uh, just tried to steal your horse. Remember, stay awesome, and I will see all of your beautiful faces in the next video. And subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of the next Red Dead episodes that are coming out and any other fun stuff that I have because got a lot of cool things coming on. Cool. See you all later. Bye.